As a lifelong poet and someone who studied poetry in college, I feel a need to respond to the overwhelming number of poems being posted on the internet about what it means to be loved by a poet, all of which seem to grossly exaggerate the power of the poets and underestimate the magic of the muse. When a poet falls in love with you. Poets are magicians in a sense. They can take a dusty old hat, words, and pull a rabbit, poem, right out. A rabbit that's impossibly beautiful considering how overused and tired that hat is. And like most magicians, poets are quietly arrogant about their craft. They can do what very few can do, and they know it. When they say, it's simple really, if you understand the trick, they know that's a big if. Everyone learns about hats. Everyone can pick them up and describe them and put them on their head. But only a few can pull rabbits out of them. When a poet falls in love with you, he will want to give you a rabbit, his biggest, fluffiest rabbit yet. He'll reach into his hat and smile, that arrogance suddenly not so quiet, and come up empty-handed. Poof, alakazam, nothing. Because his magic is dwarfed by his love for you. Compared to what you do to him, likely entirely by accident, his trick with the hat seems like a puddle next to the ocean. His rabbits are, well, rabbits, and you can conjure a pride of majestic lions. The blindingness of this, of you, will give him performance anxiety. And for the first time, he will doubt the value of hats and rabbits and his ability. Because when a poet falls in love with you, it will be like you were telling a magician his tricks are real, that magic is real. And this will terrify him, because deep down, he always suspected there was more to his rabbits. Before he met you, he would uncomfortably laugh off this theory, because he liked believing he stood at the pinnacle of magic. But you just showed him his rabbits are a mere shadow of a much bigger thing. Some poets will marvel at this crumbling of their universe and love you all the deeper. But biographies and poetry anthologies suggest most poets will resent what you've done, how you, you great witch, made a jest of the only trick they had and humbled their arrogance.